Welcome back to a brand new video of the Target Individual Program. I'm going to experience. So, I'm on my way over here. Another ambulance. Okay. They have been using the ambulances to engage a noise campaign when I, from the very moment I got on the bus. Okay. <laughs> they closed the door really hard so I can hear. Again. <laughs> they with their bullshit. Alright. You got to do that pretty hick of that. You gotta do that pretty, pretty hard, man. So I can hear you shutting your door like that. <laughs> Anyhow. Um, yeah, as I was saying. Oh, for, forget. Uh, you know, I forgot about this. So I was taking a shower today over by Pam. And, you know, she came knocking on the door. You know? So I'm telling her, I said, I'm in the shower. So she's like, still knocking on the door. I'm in the shower. So I'm in the shower. As uh, and then the New York Predator Department. I hear the sirens. Look, look, look. That's how what the ambulance is. Look. Right. Um, yeah. So you know, I'm, I'm like, oh no, no. This is what happened. So she came to the door, knocking on the door. You know, I said, I'm in the shower. And she's still knocking. I said, I'm in the shower. So I looked down and, you know, I was cleaning my, you know what, my penis. And I hear, whoop, whoop. <laughs> I was like, oh, so you, so you guys are, you guys are dick watchers now, huh? Can't have no privacy, huh? <laughs> right? I can't have no privacy even when I'm bathing, showering, peeing, shitting. It's what they engage in. Yeah, so anyway, I forgot to, to mention that. Um, also, I uh, took my daughter out for dinner, just me and her. And uh, you had a good time. You had a good, yeah, yeah, yeah. listen, listen, here. Yeah. Yeah, so you see, this, this is all, uh, it's a bit of a message with all the, all the ambulances on my way here. You know, the curse of threats. And then he's like, listen, listen, listen. Right, again. This is how they engage in this, try to be slick about it, using conversational uh, uh, methods, right? <laughs> and so, um, you know, so I went to, we went to Panda Express and I went to pay for my food and the cashier was like um, $32. I'm like $32. So anyway, I just hand a, I just paid and I, I, I got the receipt too. When I look at the receipt, it wasn't $32. Right, it was thirty-three dollars and some cents. It came up to it was thirty ninety some or uh, sixty something. I can't even remember. And then with the tax, it came up to thirty-three dollars, almost thirty-four dollars. So why is she telling me it's thirty-two dollars? Right, again the number thirty-two of play. Right, and so while we sitting eating, you know, when we got in there, there was barely anybody in there, barely anybody in there. Then you had a whole group of people coming in. Uh, about a good 15 to 20 minutes after we sat down to eat or have you, right? And then I keep noticing this one guy came and he kept walking back and forth, back and forth. And I'm like, okay, yeah, he's a perp. And then after that, uh, the floodgates, perps. It was like about six of them that came in at one point, you know, talking about, oh, McDonald's, 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 you know? And of course, because I went to McDonald's, you know, get the kids something to eat during the week. So this is how they're, they're, they're tracking my movement and tracking the, my, um, my, 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 my bank card, right, where I make purchases, stuff like that. So they, they're actively surveilling and tracking me, right? And then getting the perps, feeding them the information so they can, you know, and again, using the power of association, right? So when they say certain things, right? So like I said, just as with all these ambulances that today coming, out, coming home tonight, you know, again, those th these are coercive threats, right? Because there's no way you tell me all these, and they were making a whole bunch of noise, and, how, and they were doing it pretty slick too. So how they were doing, they either parked on the, uh, on the street, or they will drive behind the bus, right? Going, not going in the same direction, but in a cross direction, turning on their sirens, okay? <laughs> so, yeah, anyhow, this is, this, is, this is what they do, man. This is, again, you know, we talk about state-sponsored terrorism, right? 
state-sponsored terrorism. And the fact is, like I said, you know, they, they, they think that no one is going to, they believe that no one is going to be, going to believe what I'm saying is true, right? They think they can operate covertly, setting us up, black men too, even the ones that participated in targeting me, they, they themselves are going to get set up at one point or manipulated to the point where, you know, because that's, that's the system when it comes to dealing with black men and how they do it. And I understand there's white TIs, HTI, all that stuff. I understand that. But as a group of people, black people, we are targeted. We are all, as black people, targeted individuals, right? So whether, whether they're using black people to target you or target me, they themselves are targeted, maybe not in, the, in as much in the same way as you and I are targeted, but they are targeted also because they're being manipulated. They're being lied to. They've been deceived. All right? So, anyway, talk to you guys in the next video.